Okay, so our first step on this presentation will be to download and install R. Uh, here I am at the uh, website. It's uh, cran.rstudio.com and um, here are three links depending on the operating system that you have. In my case, I have uh, Windows, so I'm going to be clicking on this link, and it's going to take you to this page. Now, to install R for the first time, which is what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to click on this link, and here is the latest version. It's uh, 54 megabytes, um, which is not really that big if you have a fast internet connection. Uh, anyway, this is the, either the 32 or the 64-bit version. Um, so I, I do have a 64-bit operating system. Um, so basically, I could work with either or. If you have a 32-bit operating system, then um, you need the 32-bit version. Anyway, I'm not going to be showing and talking about this, uh, but basically operating system con uh, come into two big flavors, either 32-bit or 64-bit version. Uh, this is out of the scope of this presentation. But anyway, so I'm going to click on this link. And uh, depending on the browser that you have, you're going to get either the save or download. Uh, I have um, Internet Explorer version 11, so I'm not going to save this thing. I'm just going to run it directly. Uh, if you have Chrome or Firefox, you know, this may be a little bit different, but again, this is just like any other program that you may have downloaded. So I'm going to click on Run, and uh, uh, that may take a couple of minutes, depending on the speed of your computer Internet. A anyway, so just click on OK, next, 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 and that will install the program. Um, I have already installed this program, so I'm not going to go through step by step, but you know, it's it's a uh, uh, relatively uh, very easy task, and, and again, so if you have installed anything else before, then that'll do it. So once you, uh, once you finish uh, installing the, uh, the program, you're gonna get this um, R64 and this R32. Uh, again, in my case, it doesn't really matter. And, and, and by the way, you're not even gonna be running this program per se because the program that you're gonna be using uh, uh, to visually enter commands it's the R Studio program, which we are going to install next. Uh, so you don't really have to do anything over there. Um, so the next thing that you're going to do is to install this program and here is the uh, the, the website you're going to go to. Uh, it's the rstudio.com uh, products rstudio slash download. That's where you're going to go. And um, there are um, uh, you know several installer platforms again it all depends on the uh, type of OS that you have whether uh, you have a Windows you have Mac or uh, a Linux uh, if you have Linux then there are different flavors but anyway in my case uh, this is what I need uh, this uh, version so I'm gonna just click on this and the same thing so I'm gonna click on run and uh, the same steps just uh, wait a couple of uh, seconds and, um, and and install the program just just follow the uh, a step by step uh, you know uh, uh, commands over here on the on the operating system uh, here's checking for the um, security and stuff like that so anyway so keep on you know next next and and, and that'll be done and as in the previous case I'm not going to follow this thing because I already did this so I'm going to um, cancel this and um, so if I go to uh, the, the one thing is the R Studio will not put an icon on, on the desktop so you actually have to go into uh, all programs again this is if you have Windows 
you're gonna go to and, and this is Windows 7 so if you have Windows 8 uh, you're gonna have to uh, it's a little bit different but you can search for it you can just look for our studio on on the um, um, uh, our studio on the uh, search box over here and if you go to win if you have Windows 8 then you go to all programs and you're gonna get that so anyway so here's the R studio and what I did was basically I right click on this and then I you know send to um, desktop as a shortcut so um, that the, the shortcut is on the desktop and, and, and here it is so uh, I'm going to open the program and here it is all right so um, here is where you uh, input the commands on, on this left panel and this is the environment where the um, you know whatever it is that you're working for will be there and um, and then in, in this part over here you can get you know the list of files you can get uh, plots packages that you have installed you got uh, uh, help and all that kind of stuff so we'll see that in a second uh, but anyway so this is the part where you're gonna be uh, inputting the uh, the command so so far we have basically done um, the two first steps we have installed uh, R which is the the programming language and then we have our studio which is like kind of the the set of graphical tools that would allow you to uh, do easy stuff with um, with R so this is um, the the R studio console over here all right so R does not come actually equipped with the commands to compute uh, Krippendorf's alpha and other handed uh, reliability uh, uh, statistics uh, so you have to basically uh, uh, you have to install the uh, IRR or what is called the uh, Interrater Reliability Package as to enable R to calculate alpha and, and, and those things so and, and this is the command so basically you you, you, you type install that package and then exactly the way it is over here and um, and then you hit enter now uh, the reason why you uh, I'm getting this error over here is because I have already installed this package and this package can only be installed once uh, but, but in your case um, this will work so you wouldn't have any uh, any problem uh, once you do that you you're gonna notice that um, actually if you look at this that means that package was already installed and and so the other command that you're gonna use is this command and what this is gonna do this is gonna load the package so um, you type it in there you hit enter and again the reason why um, the the package you know you got an error is because this thing was installed but anyway so uh, once you install it, it's going to say loading, and then you're going to notice that here on this side, where it says packages, uh, you're going to get this. Uh, this is the, the, the package, and it's going to be checked, and that basically means that the package is loaded. All right, so now that I have um, installed, so basically we have done three steps. Now we're going to go to step four. And in a step four, you're going to uh, you're going to be inputting the uh, the coded data, and the coded data was provided to us uh, in in this in this exercise. And, and basically, what you comments over here, um, you have basically two sources. You can do uh, from a text file or from the web. In my case, uh, there is a text file that was already provided for this, and I have already worked with the uh, three rated data. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the uh, fiber data file a and again this is a file that was provided for this exercise so um, I'm gonna double click on this and um, uh, here it is here's the name of the file um, even though there are headers over here you have to specify it over here so basically you have to uh, that's the only thing that you're gonna change over here the separator is comma uh, because this is a, um, a CSV file 
prepared with Excel, uh, uh, separate file with Excel, and the decimal is period, double quarter. So all of this is basically uh, stays the same over there. And click on import, and and here we go. Here are the you know the different uh, raters, and the, in this case we we have in this case we have five, and uh, here's the name of the file again, and. Um, Notice that uh, everything that I do, even though it's in the graphical thing, actually shows over here because, again, remember that all commands actually are executed on this part of the console. Alright, so in a step 5, we are going to be calculating uh, alpha for the uh, file rate of data. And what we need to know over here is the, what kind of data we're working with. And uh, the data could be either nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Uh, in this specific case, we're going to be working with uh, a nominal data. Um, and um, so, so um, the command that I'm going to be using uh, for for this example is this command, which is uh, right here at the bottom. Um, obviously, you know, if you if you gonna be were if you were gonna be working with ordinal data, then this would change to ordinal interval ratio, etc. You know, etc. It will co um, accordingly. But in this case, I'm gonna be working with nominal data that has been provided uh, for this exercise. And then if you hit enter, uh, again, uh, in, in this case, um, I'm going to. Uh, I got this error because again I already uh, performed this actually I, I just run the command and basically uh, what happened was that um, I had put in the uh, the ROM data file over here uh, on my uh, previous example when I was creating the presentation I was working with the three uh, rated data file which is right here now I am doing this video with the five rater uh, a data file and now uh, it worked fine when I uh, when I changed that so this is the actual command and again it's nominal so uh, notice over here how you know the number of subjects uh, were 20 that means that there were you know 20 hotels that were rated uh, there were far different uh, people doing this and here is the uh, the value of alpha all right so as we saw on the uh, previous example in the presentation, we talked about this command and how uh, it, it transposes the columns of the uh, file rate data into rows. Um, so again, if we execute this command, then this is what it does. And again, we saw this before. So we also talked about the uh, agree command and how it determines the uh, percent uh, agreement. And again, so um, here is the command. Um, actually, uh, so this has to change to actually 5 because I'm working with the 5 rated data. And then if I hit enter, then again, here we go. So we got the uh, subjects 20, the raters that's 5, those two are constant uh, because you're working with the same, you know, the 20 hotels and the 5 raters. And then we get the percentage agree, in this case it's, it's 30. Now on, on step 7, and kind of like the last step, we need to summarize the data. And so here we go again. Uh, this has to be the uh, 5. Uh, rated data because that's the number of th that's the name of the file that I'm working with so basically this command over here has to uh, go with what's over here so if I uh, run this and here we get then the summarized data and um, so we get the, the, the minimum the first uh, quartile the, the median the mean uh, the maximum etc so uh, here we get uh, all that information that uh, uh, we briefly talked about on the presentation so the last command we're gonna run over here it's uh, the uh, box plot command and again so if we uh, type in this then here we get the uh, uh, box plot a and again if you look at this th this is presentation is not about uh, box plot and how to read that 
uh, on the presentation there is a reference uh, to a video where you can you know learn how to interpret this uh, but anyway so if you look at um, a couple of things over here for example if you look at the median for uh, Raider 1 it's 3 and also number 2 it's also 3 and um, actually number 3 number 4 so if you look at this this is what we're talking about so number uh, uh, this is this line over here represents the media uh, and uh, so Raider um, actually uh, all of them so if you, if you look at this over here uh, all of the uh, the median for all the the Raiders it's three and that can be shown uh, over here too. Anyway, so if you want to learn how to uh, read and interpret a box plot, that's also a, a reference in the video. But uh, uh, so there you go. That's how you use uh, R in R Studio.